<gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching Angel Season 2, Episode 2. This next episode is titled, Are You Now or Have You Ever Been? Have I ever been what? I don't know. It's a very intriguing title. I'm excited to see what is going to happen in this one. God, the one thing I really, really want to see is Darla and Angel interact. Look, I don't know if it's too early for them to see each other, for Angel to learn that Darla is back or not, but I am so impatient and I just really want to see them interact. So yeah, I'm excited to see if it's gonna happen in this one or if they're gonna wait a little bit with it. I don't know, but my God, I'm excited about that so much. God. Puppy update? <laughs> Puppy update, she's here. Look how massive she is now. Oh my God, do you guys remember when I introduced her? I think during episode 20, she grew up so much. She grew so much, oh my God. Okay, I have to put her down. Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Oh my god! Oh! Wow! Listen to her. This is what I have to deal with. Look how aggressive she is. Ow! She's a menace, guys. Help me. Save me. Save me. Somebody save me. What? What do you want? What do you want? Look how, how, how is she like this? Explain it to me. How is she so insane? <laughs> so if you want to know why I was not that up to date with some of the later episodes of last season, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> she just doesn't let me record, sleep, do anything really. So. Yeah, if you, Bella. Okay, I think we might be safe. Maybe, I'm not sure. She might come in here and bark and just annoy the hell out of me. But I love her. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, anyway, I have absolutely no idea what I was talking about beforehand. I, Darla, I think Darla and Angel, that's all I want to see, to be honest, and see some more gun interacting with Cordelia and Leslie and maybe see the new office. I don't know if we have found it yet or not, but that would be cool to see the new office. And yeah, if you guys are interested, the full length reaction for this is gonna be linked down below. Let's just jump straight into it. A Hyperion Hotel. It appears to be abandoned. 68 oh. rooms, 68 vacancies. Is there a serial killer inside there? I, um... You like yeah, it warm? I think it's gone bad. It's starting to coagulate. <laughs> oh, you. No, that's cinnamon. Wait, I can't try something? Uh, <laughs> you believe whatever made this place its home did so for some time. Probably right up to the end. Wait, what? Are we looking for a monster inside? Are we getting like a flashback? <gasps> Yo, what? Okay, this is very interesting. Because this wouldn't be Angel's flashback, right? We cannot evict residents on the grounds of the heebie-jeebies. Now, if we did, we'd have to shut down. Why did we linger so long on him? I don't like that. Hello, Bellman. Anybody home? <laughs> that was the softest knock. <gasps> it is Angel. Wait. Okay. What? I didn't think it would be Angel because 1920. Because he was cursed in the 19th century, right? So like in the 1800s, he was cursed. And then I thought after that, he was just living like a little sewer rat. That's how the Whistler, his name was Whistler. That's how Whistler found him, right? What's going on here? I'm excited. Oh, that was such a cool transition. I liked it. Okay, dude, what you doing there? <gasps> Look at them, a gay couple. <laughs> yes, a very many handshake. We are just two bros. Is it blood? Human blood? Wait, why is he drinking human blood? I thought he was drinking animal blood, no? I understand. I'm sorry, who the fuck is whispering like that? Are you not even slightly curious, Angel? Oh, it's that dude again. I hate it here. I absolutely hate it here. Where's the guy? I don't like the... It's giving me the chills. A 
probably finished here in just two shakes, sir. Oh, she's a maid? You're not the maid. Yeah, I didn't think so. She's dressed very nicely. No cleaning trolley outside the door. Those sheets are dirty. And you're the wrong color. Maybe just talk about her dress next time. I can explain. Not interested. Just go. I can't. I'll help you. Um, Angel! Um, my, my boy, Is it Angel? So he's kind of the... Now why don't you send her on out here, and that way I won't have to come in and get her. Oh, you try and do that. You won't mind if I just come in and take a look around, then. I have very much to do, mind. Oh, I have a gun. Okay, who cares? That can't kill him. Oh, okay. I was like, is he letting him in? Yes, I do, mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, like he's a petulant child. He's taking him out by his ear. I love it. Concierge Roland Meeks made his morning wake-up call with a 12-gauge shotgun. Room to room. It's been empty ever since. Jeez, okay. Now we know one thing for certain. Yep, it's not that vampires don't photograph. It's just that they don't photograph well. I mean... <laughs> oh my god. It's got me higher than a car. That sounded like someone was right here whispering in my ear. Oh my god, I'm about to fucking cry. That's just kind of I thought someone was here. I am not okay. Oh. Fuck these noise cancelling headphones. Is he gonna kill himself? Like, is that what's happening? Oh god, he is. Jesus Christ, dude. God. So whatever this voice is, it's making people harm themselves or maybe harm others as well because well, that was the guy who jumped down with like two other people and then apparently the dude who like shot everybody else. It's a really bad spirit, I guess. This is the third one in as many months. Why can't they ever do it in their own homes for God's sakes? Wait, isn't this based on... There is a hotel in LA, right? Where like people have killed themselves a lot. They'll shut you down. Yes. They will. We can't just leave him here. Of course not. We'll um, store him in the meat locker. Okay, store that's him. disgusting. And then what, feed him to the guests? Maybe this wasn't a suicide. Are you sure you're safe here? You, I'm very intrigued, but also very creeped out. World ends in 10 minutes. I hope you don't mind. I thought I'd say hello. Is it Y2K or hello? something? <laughs> oh, wait. Have this you seen is the, the show? 50s. Can you imagine that wallpaper being the last thing you see before you go? Maybe it was the wallpaper that drove him to it. <laughs> Angel, come on! Okay. Frank Gilnitz. He worked as a bellman. They think he killed the guy. But he wasn't executed until 54. Should we put it in there? The storing of the body in the hotel meat locker. That occurred in 52. Jeez. The manager let him take the fall for that? And then he got executed for it. That's messed up. Does this have anything to do with that P.I. I tossed out of here? Oh, he was a PI? City Trust Bank of Salina, Kansas. Okay. I was a teller there. Did you rob the bank? I think maybe they want this back. She robbed the bank. All right. Good job, hon. They found out about me at the bank, and so they fired me. And then Peter... Well, I'm so confused. Why would they fire her for having a boyfriend? I've been passing since I was 15 years old. Passing. A white. Oh. My mother was colored. My father... Why did I think she was transgender? I'm not one thing or the other. I am nothing. I know what that's like. I am something. What is that? A person? I'm a thief. Oh. It was stupid, and I wish I'd never done it. I didn't mean you. I meant your former employers. Oh, let's go Angel. Look, if I leave now, it'll look too suspicious. But if I stay here and the cops find this... They're not gonna find it. I'll take it off your hands. I'll stand it straight away so there's no proof. I got you, girl. When did she die? Mm. <gasps> Doesn't say. And was never heard from again. So Angel helped her and she was 52. able to get away? 52. Or is she dead? The money ended up on the bank's doorstep. And if they saw that I didn't spend any of it, I think they'd call off that detective. Maybe yeah, I don't think so. Maybe I could be free of this whole thing. Oh, you're so naive, sweetie. Okay, so she didn't get away with it. I thought she might have gotten away with the money and had like a very nice life. I can sense <gasps> it. There's Is it still there? there? Was it whispering in current time? Whispers to its victims feeds on their innate insecurities. Let's go, Cordelia. Did you have a vision? Angel wants to talk to you. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Exorcisms, cleansing rituals. Try this one. 
You got any idea who you're dealing with? <gasps> reputation, that's why I'm here. Now, it's been a long time since I opened a vein, but I'll do it. You pull any more of that Van Helsing Jr. crap with me. I had to sort of, you know, what do you call it? Make him fit. No chance I'd get in trouble for that, is there? Don't be paranoid. Yeah, you definitely. You'll die for that. You were what, about my age when you were me? I don't know. How old are you? Just north of 30. No. This thistle like demon. And that'll kill it. Uh, it might. Wouldn't hurt to have a lightning strike, you know, finger hit <gasps> kind of thing, but... Yeah, let me just call up Thor. Angel is just walking around with that big ass axe. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this transition. And do be careful, ancient conjuring orbs are notoriously fragile. <gasps> Angel! Guys, don't listen to it, right? <laughs> Whatever it's whispering to you, just ignore it. Angel? Come on! <laughs> Oh God, Jesus Christ. She betrayed him. That's so messed up. Oh my God. Well, lucky he doesn't need to breathe. Jesus. Now well, you're gonna cry now? Miss Trader. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god, he's so creepy. I hate him. Oh my lord, what have we done? I don't understand why none of them pulled him back. You know, it takes a while to, you know, choke, right? Like, you can't be without oxygen for like a minute or two. <gasps> oh yeah, he said that if he feeds enough, he can become corporeal as well. Don't you? And you thought you'd made a friend. <laughs> New splash you had! That's what made her the yummiest morsel of all. <laughs> you reached a buddy. There's an entire hotel here just full of tortured souls who could really use your help. Take them all. <laughs> no. No, he did not just do that with a soul. But full of tasty paranoia just the same. <laughs> Especially that. What do they mean by that? <laughs> oh god, why would you grab his little tentacle? Oh, the lightning, right? The guy said that you need lightning. Electricity works too. What did it mean, especially that one? Don't listen to him, sweetie. You're amazing. Is that her? Is she still here? Yeah. You look the same. Yeah, I mean, you killed him. Shouldn't he be a ghost or something in your head? Am I safe? You're safe. Can I go out now? Yeah. Oh, God. You can go out. Just a little rest. You see? Oh, is she gonna die? She didn't even get to go outside. Angel, carry her outside. Can you forgive? Of course. I'm going to go out. Oh god, that's so messed up. Paranoid? It's never been one of them. Less people have been saying it behind my back. Okay, that's paranoia, sweetie. <laughs> 70 years of violence, mayhem, and paranoia? Bad vibes. We're moving in. I mean, if you throw pillows, what's not to love? What? Angel, this is a house of evil. Not anymore. Is this their new office? I mean, it looks goddamn amazing. You don't find me especially paranoid, do you? Oh, honey, I think you're That's proving oh, not God. especially, just kind of. I was worried. <laughs> what a crazy episode. I really like this one. I thought it was very well done and sad and depressing and just crazy and i absolutely loved this look into angel's past i didn't think we would ever get something like this like i always thought that after he gained his soul back he was just what we saw of him in buffy like he was just sort of living on the streets eating rats and just 
not being in a great mental state. I didn't think that he had like a semi-normal life at some point and he was kind of a bitch because he wasn't really the champion of the people yet. He hasn't helped anyone. He reluctantly tried to help Judy, but in the end, he gave up on them. He gave up on everybody in that hotel and they, well, I don't know if they all died or some of them died. I don't know exactly what happened, but a lot of people have died and yeah, that was intense, but I really liked it. I really liked this look into Angel and the fact that he wasn't always such a good guy. Like even with a soul, he was able to be selfish and I think maybe that was most like his actual original self, like Liam. I could definitely see Liam do something like that where he was more self-centered and cared more about his own needs and wants. Like he wouldn't have been a fighter or a hero or anything like that. So it's interesting to see that it really took a lot for Angel to be where he is now. Like it took Whistler, it took Buffy, it took the entire first season for Angel to be like, okay, actually, I probably should try and fix this mistake I've made 50 years ago. So yeah, I absolutely loved getting this look into his life. Also, just such a tragic story. Like, poor Judy. She was there this whole time for 50 years, trapped in there, being fed on by this demon. That's awful. And she didn't even do anything wrong, really. I mean, yeah, sure, she stole money, but like the reason why she did is a good enough one. Like, I forgive that because fuck the bank, fuck all of that racism and all of that that she had to deal with back then. It's really awful. And yeah, she made a mistake pointing to Angel, but she was just terrified. And I'm sure some of it was the demon as well, like his influence on her. So I don't think it was just fully her doing that, which I feel like Angel should have realized. Like he knew what he went up against, right? He knew what this demon does and he still decided to let him have everybody because they betrayed him, they killed him, but it's like it, they weren't in their right mind and he would have heard them change their minds afterwards. Like everybody was like, oh my God, what did we do? What have we done? Like we shouldn't have done this. Except of course for the bellhop guy, he was just straight up psycho. He still didn't deserve to get executed for covering up a suicide, but he was not a pleasant man. But yeah, it was great to see that after all these years, Angel came back and was able to fix his mistake, slay this demon, and then also free Judy from that hell she's been living in. Of course, it's such a shame that she didn't actually get to leave. Like, she just died right there. That's, like, so awful. And I feel so bad for her. But I guess that's life, huh? That's what we've learned. Life sucks. What sucks less, though, is their new office. Oh my goodness, this place looks amazing. Like such a huge step up from, you know, that little dingy office that they were in in season one. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with it. Like, of course, we saw it properly in the flashbacks because in current day, it's very run down. So I wonder if it's going to look similar to how it looked in the flashbacks or if they're going to do like a little bit more of a modern spin on it. I'm not sure, but I'm very excited to see it. Like, that's uh, so cool. I wonder if the way they're going to get it is because Angel is going to use the money he found there to rebuild it and or just like buy the hotel and then furnish it. And yeah, so technically Judy is the one funding their little new office and helping them slay even more monsters. So yeah, this was an awesome episode. I loved it so much. Of course, I'm a little bit bummed that we didn't get to see Darla in this, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm patient, I guess. I have I have patience. I can wait until next episode. After that, I don't know however long I have to wait, but hopefully I get to see Darla soon and not just her, but also her interacting with Angel. That's what I want so badly. So yeah, I'm very excited. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my patrons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like someone